Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add internal and external links to your content on WordPress. Uh, there are probably different ways to do this other than what I'm going to go over in this video, but I find that this is the easiest way and especially helpful for people just starting off with WordPress. So before we begin, of course, you're going to need some content to where you're going to add internal and external links. And then I use a handy plugin called Tiny MCE Advanced, a free plugin uh, from from WordPress and allows you to uh, it'll, basically what it do does once you add it to your website, it's going to add these uh, different toolbars here at the top of your page. So once you have that and you have some content, uh, first let's go over how you create an internal link. So an internal link basically is a link to another page on your website. So let's just for this example use this as our a phrase that we want to link. Uh, this is often called your anchor text and I'll go a little bit more into that in a bit here. So you're just going to hit the insert edit link icon here in the, the toolbar. And then unless you already know the address to the page that you want to link to, you're going to hit this gear icon. And uh, basically you'll have a list of the different pages on your website and you can just pick the one that you would like to link to. So in this case, since we are linking with the phrase pay-per-click, it makes sense that we link to a pay-per-click related page on our website. So this is the page and you can see here the URL field is automatically populated. And so that's good to go there. Now for the link text, it says link text here, but this is called anchor text. Uh, this is very important for SEO. You want to make sure that this is keyword optimized, uh, especially for a different page on your website. You can be a lot more aggressive with your anchor text uh, for uh, links to other pages on your website. So since so this page is about PPC, we're using the anchor pay-per-click. Uh, some other anchors you could use include PPC marketing, uh, PPC advertising, PPC, uh, really the, the list goes on and on. And if you're not sure uh, how you can find different variations, make sure to check out the keyword uh, discovery video uh, here on the on the YouTube channel. Now, once you have the anchor text, you're going to always hit open link in a new tab. And here's why. Uh, if you click or have someone click through to another page, even if it's on your website, that's going to decrease the average time on page. And if that's the only page they have landed on, the bounce rate for that particular page that they're clicking from. Uh, those are both engagement metrics and uh, have been shown to have uh, be strong uh, factors for the Google algorithm. So you want to make sure that instead of having people click through to a new page, that they'll actually just open that new page in a new tab. That way you're not having any type of uh, issues with your engagement metrics. So we're going to hit open link in new tab and then add link. As you can see here now, you're able to see that, that, that link uh, pop up. And if you're not sure, you always know that anytime something's underlined automatically, that means that it's a, it's a link. Now, so those are internal links. So external links, it works much the same, except that instead of going to another page on your website, you're going to go to a page on another website that you don't own or completely different website. So for this case, let's, why don't we just, try graphic design professionals. This will just be a test. So much the same, it's going to be a similar process. So you're going to hit insert edit link. And for this case, you don't know the URL. You might not, you might know it, but we won't be able to follow the same process. So let's find a page about graphic design professionals that we can link to for this example.
So let's just take the the first. Looks like it's a really good uh, resource. So we're just gonna do a right click, copy link address, go back over to WordPress, add that there, and then again, you want to make sure that you are uh, open a link in a new tab. And again, you can change the anchor text, whatever you want. Uh, typically when I'm linking out to an external website, I try to help that website owner out with some strategic, uh, tr strategically placed anchor text uh, so that they would get some SEO benefit from, from that link. And update, and now you're good to go. So that's how you add internal and external links into your WordPress content. Thank you.